Oh, it's still alive, I think. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the station's really catered these two lionesses. Animals have uh, just bought uh, water back. Opening up the stomach while it's still alive, eh? Uh, just one station, yeah? Wow. It's quite a rare occurrence to see this. Yeah, it's super rare. A negative, uh, busy killing a water buck. Make your way if you warm it up, uh, it's probably best. Five of the five. Good, thank So, what's stopping other lions coming to help her with? Uh, there aren't any other lions around. And the one's pretty greedy. Yeah, she's gonna get kicked. Trying to busy, busy trying to feed before uh, it's dead. Yeah. yeah, the other one's busy doing the proper job, busy biting down on the throat there. Uh, they're youngish, they're, they're adult size, but uh, they're probably about four years old, they're about. It's taking its last few breaths. No, they'll they'll just feed on a chair. There, there are a few other members of the pride um, that aren't here at the moment. They might call them a bit later, but they'll they'll have their full first. No, if if anything, they want to eat before he gets here, because he'll he'll chase them off the kill and eat everything. So. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> were, were there baboons that you could hear? Yeah, those were baboons that were busy barking at the lions. Obviously, the waterback didn't listen to them. <laughs> yeah, so the other one must have been in the in the bushes. Yeah, yeah. We told them out. Yeah. Yeah, the guys are coming. Well, that one in the middle of the open plain there, that looks like a little boy. Sort of a sub adult male. It looks like they are hoping that the other one chases the water out of the it straight into them. They've pretty much got that warthog surrounded, so it's going to get interesting. They're definitely walking with purpose. They're not just having a casual stroll. You can see that one that we can still see in the open there. It's peering into that thicket. She's hoping that that uh, warthog comes bursting out of there. They also have the wind in their favour. The wind's blowing from the warthog towards them. Does the warthog know they're there now? Uh, no. No, if the warthog knew that they were there, they probably wouldn't stand much of a chance of catching it. Where's the water, Jeff? See that, that main line, that young one. The one walking on the right? Yeah. Yeah? Right in front of you. Okay, so keep an eye on that line that's walking to the right there. Apparently that warthog's right in front of him somewhere. Did he just lie down? Yeah. 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 Oh, and the warthog's just up and to the left of him. Oh, so that's why he's laid down. It's because the warthog's looking towards him. And the warthog doesn't know they're there? No. 
The warthogs so close. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, warthogs. Well, unfortunately for the warthogs, their their senses aren't the greatest. They've got a very good sense of smell, and that's about it. But he's just having a casual munch, enjoying breakfast. He's oblivious. Little does he know that there's a whole bunch of lions busy watching him. Oh, look at that. See that yeah. oh, the one's getting up, ready for action. See him moving on the on the right there, stalking in. Closer and closer that one line. Yeah. The warthog's just behind the bush at the moment, so you can't quite see it. But I'm sure we're going to see it soon when it starts running away from that line. The warthogs come out into the open a little bit more now. Which is amazing because I think there's a line in the bush where that warthog is. Yeah. Uh, in total, I think there's probably about five lines down there. Um, I've only, I can't see any of the lines at the moment. Just see the one warthog. Another warthog's walking straight towards another line there, so Up to the other line. into a death trap. They're waiting for just the perfect opportunity. They're doing a very good job of keeping calm these lines because those warthogs are almost right on top of them. If they were younger and more inexperienced they would have probably run out after the warthogs too early and uh, chased them away. There you go, there's a warthog jogging, there goes the line. Oh, it missed it. Yeah, they got him, they've got it. Yeah, those lines must be very hungry. Too long because I think the lines have already started munching quite a quite a bit of it. Oh yeah. They weren't messing around. So the one line is still busy trying to kill it by holding it down on its throat and do the doing the proper job. The others are like great. You just holding it so we can eat it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I suppose it's the circle of life. Everyone has to eat it. Every day. <laughs> yeah. uh, she will as soon as she's uh, she's decided that uh, it's dead. Yeah, yeah, no, that warthog's definitely dead. <laughs> Doesn't really have anything left to live with. <laughs> it doesn't seem hungry, yeah? Well, they've eaten quite a bit already, but uh, I don't think they're really overly hungry. I think they've just come to claim their their meal, and they can sit with this uh, with this giraffe for days. And I've I've seen them 
feeding on flesh so rotten that it's almost falling off like liquid. Uh, Definitely a bonus meal though, huh? So the interesting thing is the where the wind's blowing, the wind's blowing directly in the direction where those lions stand. So maybe they didn't even notice that over there. Maybe they could smell this this kill and, uh, and decide, okay, well, it smells like there's quite a tasty meal over there. And they've headed straight towards it, so they wouldn't have known it was here any other way. Uh, you may have had a little munch there, but it doesn't look like there's anything fed on it yet. Uh, he's lying behind the bush at the back there. Uh, he's semi awake, yeah, but he'll get up hopefully and come and. Uh, Just see his head there. See the bush? See his head there? The scary thing is that it's those little ones that are growling like that. So you think of them as little cubs and, and you hear them growl and you're like, oh, they're definitely lions. <laughs> uh, it's a quite a young giraffe that, so it's probably only a few months old. So, they just die, do they? Just yeah, sometimes what they'll do is they'll. Well, sometimes what happens is if they lose condition, they can get a disease called heart water disease, which is passed on by ticks. Um, and you find the giraffes can be quite uh, quite affected by that disease. I've lost quite a few giraffes with that disease. It's just a natural sort of disease that moves through. Uh, Everyone's just decided it's going to go mess with Dad. It's actually amazing that that male hasn't come in to feed yet. I think he's realised it's quite a big meal. They let the little ones have a good munch. Yeah, they're going to go mess with Dad. I'll move us slightly further forward. Potential to get interesting if that big guy decides to come in. Okay, leave me alone, man. <laughs> Cheeky little guy, huh? See while they're feeding, they hold their ears right back because obviously there's lots of teeth in that flying around there. They don't want to get their ears bitten off. They can be quite aggressive with one another. Oh, 
frog's getting right in there, huh? Zebra's skin just moving. Oh, it's quite a powerful breath that, huh? Well, it's the, the water back, yeah, um, and it's it's because that one's still biting down on its throat, so it's it's busy slowly suffocating it. But the one is greedy, hey, eh? busy munching away so long. See, on the documentaries, they don't play the sounds, eh? <laughs> yeah, she's got a good grip on it there. I don't think she's going to let it get away again. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's a fighter, huh? Yeah. It's a big male. Yeah, it is a good sized male, that. Yeah. Oh, watch out for the kick there, buddy. Uh, hoof to the head is not an ideal situation there. Exactly. No, there's, there's, there's. If that waterbuck does win, it's going to have a really slow and painful death because it's already been disemboweled. So it's better that it just dies now. Yeah. <laughs> but it certainly is a fighter. Yeah, that lioness really needs to just get a good grip and block that windpipe completely. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear it slowing down there, the breathing? Yeah, it ran quite a long ways as well.
Yeah, but it's a big enough animal that uh, once she's eventually killed it, she'll... If she lets go of it now, it's just going to get up again, so... Yeah. It's amazing how they they eat all the meat off and they the face of the Yeah, it's busy facing us, yeah. Yes. Do you wanna look with binoculars? Yes. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> and they eat wow. everything and you'll see now when you look through binoculars, they don't eat the skin. They've actually rolled the skin back. They don't like to eat the skin. They'll eat the meat and the organs except for the stomach. And they leave the head and the skin yeah. and the hooves. Oh. Then once they're nice and full, they go to sleep like the other two. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Now you see that while that's busy eating, it's got little spots down its side. It's still quite young. Once they get older, those spots start to fade away. It's younger. It's quite a young one, yeah. yeah. That one's but probably about. Or male or it's female? it's a female. female. She's probably already about a year and a half old. Probably gonna go and sleep with her mother and sister now. No, gotta go and eating. <laughs> The interesting thing there is, you'll see she actually cuts the meat with her side teeth. Like us as humans will normally bite into like an apple with our front teeth to cut through through things. Whereas lions will use their front teeth to, to grip and, and kill prey. Yeah. And they use their side teeth, their molars, as scissors to cut away at the meat. Yeah. Full belly. Oh, take away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's really making sure that she's getting every little piece of meat off of that skull, eh? <laughs> Do one thing like this, no? 
Uh, you don't see them feeding too often. Normally you just see them sleeping. There goes the nose. Ieri. Ah, però andiamo anche noi se ah, andremo. Bello, fatti, bello, fatti. Sì. It's only just Crunching right through it there. Oh. sort of sandpaper tongue of theirs they'll try and get off as much hair as they can first so it's not munching away yeah so normally they'll, they'll leave a lot of the bigger bones in the skull of that for the bigger animals but that little warthog's bones are still nice and soft so he'll, uh, he'll definitely eat it all from the side and back of his mouth. Yep. Got some lipstick on the go. Eh?
Yeah, they definitely don't. Uh, they're definitely messy eaters, though. though. Yeah, it's crashing through the clouds there, yeah, that's like cracking sound. <laughs> he was probably focused on this one, that's why he ran right past the other one, yeah. That's also why you saw when those babies ran off, there must have been about five or six of them. Um, and that's why warthogs have so many babies. It's because a lot of them get eaten before they're even a few months old. Uh, yeah, she'll just carry on. She's still got a whole bunch of other piglets that she has to look after. So. Like spaghetti. Yeah, no, exactly. It was quick and it might have kicked around a little bit towards the end there, but it wouldn't have, it would take a long time. Yeah. Youngsters probably easier to catch, and uh, I think they did actually feed this morning sometimes. So, cleaning it off. Uh, I don't think it's all gone yet. I think there's still a little bit left there. Amazing how he just licks his lips and his lips are clean again, eh? Well, very special to see. <laughs> I think he 
you almost forgot that he's still got a little meat there. <laughs> oh, awesome. Great way to start the afternoon. Hey guys, thanks very much for watching my video. Um, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. If you want to support the channel, uh, free feel to check out the link to Patreon in the description. Um, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Should be up here. Yeah? And uh, I should be surrounded by some awesome videos to watch. Be sure to check them out. And uh, thank you very much for watching.